There were 25, and now there is one. Bachelor Canada's Brad Smith spent a season looking for love, and last night he found it. On a beach in Barbados, Brad got down on bended knee and asked Bianca to marry him. Their search for love ended when she happily accepted the proposal and the final rose this morning. We welcome the happy couple. Congratulations, Brad and Bianca. Good morning. Thank you. Good morning. How's it going? Uh, very well. This is so exciting for us, and I can only imagine how exciting it is for you guys to finally go public. Go public. <laughs> go big or go home. Uh, yeah, no, we're just excited. Like, we're just going to hold hands. We're going to walk downtown Toronto all make day. Make out all over the place. Make, this, this <laughs> make out all over the place. It's going to be pretty boring to watch, so. But I know how, it's, you know, when, when, when there's sort of new love blossoming, it's really hard to keep it contained. You guys clearly very much in love. How hard has it been to, to keep this a secret, Bianca? Um, you know what, it actually has been easy. We had a little party last night. Well, actually it ended up being a huge party. And the reactions on everybody's faces when he walked through the door was priceless. And we got it on, we got it on video. <laughs> and I would have waited another six months to tell everybody because it was... Uh, people were dropping down on the floor, Aww. crying, screaming, like it was, it was amazing. He's real! I'm like, oh, <laughs> easy. Brad, was it, was it at all hard for you to, to keep this a secret? Didn't you want to tell somebody? Well, that's the thing, right? You go from, uh, you know, five months ago having one of the most uh, elating points in my entire life to having to, you know, quell that down and keep that a secret for five months. All, all you want to do is basically do what we're going to do probably tonight or tomorrow, which is just be normal and just have mm. a relationship and just, and uh, it's, it was worth keeping a secret, like B said, because of how excited everybody was and truly shocked. I mean, she had her best friends convinced that I didn't pick her and that, <laughs> well, and one of them was like, hey, if, you did, if you didn't pick her, I'm going to, I'm going to, if she if didn't pick you, I'm going to go get him. And I was like... Yeah, well, hook me up with her phone number, please. You guys, I, I think everybody kind of felt this way. A lot of sighs of relief at the end. And probably, Brad, I would think that your family, uh, your family clearly took an immediate liking to Bianca. How much did their input help in, in making your decision? My f my family does play the Switzerland role really well, which is just, you know, let Brad make his own decision. But the thing, regardless of how it was depicted on TV, there was never a choice when it came to Bianca. And, and um, the second she stepped in my, my house, my family fell in love with her, just like when everyone meets her in person, it's the exact same reaction. Now, now, Bianca, <laughs> it, it seemed it, it, like it took a little while for you to open up. You said repeatedly that trust was a bit of an issue for you. How long until you realized that you were actually in love with Brad? Um, it was after the date in Mexico. I remember going on the plane home and I was with the stylist and I'm like, I think I have like a little bit of a crush on him. She's like, oh. Um, and I mean, from there it slowly developed. But I sound. think after, uh, after meeting my parents, that's when um, hmm. things started really moving quickly and I really started to give in to him and open up and give in to him. I like that. <laughs> now, it didn't seem, Bianca, like you had any doubts that, that, that you were going to be Brad's choice. I mean, d did you? I didn't have any doubts, but I also didn't think of the other girls in the situation. I kind of tried to focus on us, knowing that they were still there, but I just try to focus on the relationship that we had and how we were developing. And well, That's the only way that you can do it. I mean, if, if, you, if you take each relationship as its own, that's the only way that the process is going to develop. And, and, and like I've said before, I mean, if you would have told either one of us that we were going to have an organic relationship on reality TV, we'd <laughs> ask you to see your straight jacket that, you know, that you'd be crazy. But um, it, it actually did happen. And when we look back on it, it's like it was just... Like that nine minute clip at the end of our entire relationship, I think that's how we look back on the entire experience. Uh, well, you guys look incredibly sweet together. Have, have you set a date? I have to ask you. <laughs> as soon as as soon as she'll let me all I will any day of the week as soon as we're done this interview <laughs> yeah, <laughs> amazing keep the cameras rolling uh, Brad and Bianca congratulations to you I appreciate it oh <laughs> <laughs> thanks for joining us have a great day I know you have about you 40 interviews it. left <laughs> uh, the Bachelor Canada after the final rose airs uh, Wednesday at 730.
on City TV. That was a lot of fun. They look great together.